Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally, Apple has started rolling out iOS 18 developer builds and they bring a lot of new features to iPhones. We have been using this build on our iPhone 15 Pro Max since it was released and in this video, we'll talk about every new change. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here you can see I have my iPhone 15 Pro Max and towards the right hand side, I have iPhone 15 Plus. We'll compare some features to show you guys these changes. First of all, if you guys want to try out these builds, you can just go to the general section under software update. In the beta update section, you need to select iOS 18 developer betas. Once you do that, you will receive an OTA update. And guys, these are developer previews, so they may not be completely stable and might have some app compatibility issues. So I recommend not to try on primary phone. The update size was 7 GB plus over iOS 17.1 stable build. So the version is iOS 18.0.22a 5282m. Modern firmware is 2.11.00. And guys now before talking about all the features, so from now we'll be covering all the iOS updates also and we'll also do in-depth review videos. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So first let's start with the lock screen changes. So if you guys remember on iPhones we never had the option to change the lock screen shortcuts. Now that feature have been added with iOS 18. So towards the bottom side you can see there are two toggles by default which were set to torch and camera but now you also have the option to remove it and later you can add shortcuts. It's not only about that you can add only shortcuts you also have the option to select the applications which can be directly launched from the lock screen shortcuts. So for example here we have added BGMI and I'll tap on done. You can see now BGMI icon appears on the lock screen shortcut. So this is the only lock screen change what you'll see on iOS 18. Now talking about the home screen changes, now iOS 18 lets you rearrange the app icons on the home screen which wasn't possible previously which you can see this is the device which is running iOS 17 and if I drag and drop any application it goes back to the same place but that's not the case here if I want I can move any application wherever I want. Along with that you also have option to resize the widgets. iOS 18 also brings the option to add color palettes on the app icon similar to Google's material wallpaper theming. So there are these few options like automatic dark light and tinted you also have the option to add dark mode to the wallpaper which can be done from here and for the tinted you have options to select the color palette as per your requirement or else you also have an option to select the color palette from the wallpaper which you are using accordingly a color palette will be applied to app icons you can also change the size of the icon there are two options by default small and large if you select the larger one it removes the app name in all the pages you won't get to see the app name written if you're using the large icon option and one of the biggest change in ios 18 is led to the quick setting tiles or you can say control center now you can see it's completely redesigned let me show on my iphone 15 here you can clearly see a huge difference and it's not only like apple have done some placement you do have the ability to move or resize the quick setting tiles as per your requirement you just have to tap on this plus icon and you can see now you have ability to resize all the quick setting tiles as per your requirement and which looks quite nice if i want volume or brightness slider towards the left side i can move that i can decrease the size of the tiles as per my requirement and there are separate pages which you can access directly from the control center so with the single swipe you can see we have the control center but towards the right hand side there are a few icons one of them is this music player then your home controls and connectivity you can also add more controls or pages if you want to you guys let us know in the comment section below did you guys like the new control panel of ios 18 or not you'll see the implementation of torch with the dynamic pill and this also has nice animation you can decrease the brightness or increase the brightness also you can enlarge the area of the flashlight and whenever you turn it on or off you'll see that nice animation and one nice implementation what you'll see so whenever you press any of the button like for example let's take this volume down button whenever you press that you'll see that nice squeezing effect so depending on which button you press you'll see that nice effect on the edge of the screen there are a few widgets which can also be converted to app icon so let's take example of this so if i long press on it and if i tap on this icon towards the left hand side now this widget will be converted into the icon i mean the app icon there are some applications which also got an upgrade we'll talk about them also but one thing which i liked finally they have added the option to hide the application or lock the application so for example here i have the geek benchmark application if i long press on it you can see there is a new option called require face id tapping on it will give you two options one is hide and require face id and the second one is to open that application the face id is required so if i tap on hide and require face id and use my passcode the app will be hidden from here and you won't find this application anywhere you need to go to the app library scroll down 
there is this new folder called hidden first you need to tap on it and again it will ask your face id or your passcode once you enter that the application will appear in the hidden folder so this is how you can lock or hide the application on ios 18 now and another cool feature which i liked and that's the eye tracking and i found it very useful i can control the entire device just by using my eyes right now it's in beta phase and it doesn't work that good but yes it can get your job done and this is one of my favorite feature on ios 18 and finally a big change what apple have bought with the contact application and that's it t9 support so if you guys know iphones doesn't have the support to search contacts number using the dial pad if you want a specific contact you had to go to contact section and then search for it but now that's not the story now you can search the contacts just using the dial pad and accordingly you'll get the results here so this was one thing due to which i wasn't using apple products and apple is also bringing a call recording feature but currently it is not available hoping to see that with the future updates you can also see a ui change so if i'm on a call here you can see now we have a complete new ui with this audio wave and you also have some voice controls here and this new ui change looks quite nice also if you go to the settings there are some ui changes now you can see a huge section on the top side which provides the description of the settings and and it's implemented in the entire ui let's go to wi-fi section previously it used to be quite simple but now it gives a detailed description settings page got a lot of changes for example things like this notification sound and haptics have moved towards the bottom side and you get other functionalities towards the top side and instead of having all these applications here in the settings page now you have a dedicated application section tapping on it which lets you access all the applications present on your device another new application what they have bought here on ios 18 and that's this password application from here you'll be able to manage all your passwords pass keys etc so nice to see a standalone password application and now let's talk about the changes what you guys get to see with the applications talking about the first application which is messaging app so here we got a couple of changes so one of them is now you can schedule the messages so for example if i want to send happy birthday to my friend I just tap on this gear icon. If I scroll down, here you can see a new option called send later. You only have the option to schedule a message 14 days in advance. You can see this option was not previously present. And if you have already scheduled it, you still have option to make the changes in the timing or the date. So this is one add-on what you'll see with the messaging application. And the second one is now you also have some effects for the individual words. So if I select one individual word, you can see towards the right hand side we have an icon. And if I go here, there are some effects including things like you can make the font bold italics underline it and more and if you use any of the effects this effect will be only seen on that individual word after that there are few changes also done related to tap back reply option so if i select this message you can see we had some limited emojis to reply and also the color was gray but now you will get to see colorful emojis and instead of only these emojis you have the option to add more emojis so there are no restrictions now you can select any emoji for the tab back reaction so these are some of the changes what you'll see in the messaging application and the second biggest change what you'll see and that's layer to gallery application so first of all entire ui got revamped here you can see this is how it used to look before but now this is how it looks here you can see this entire pill of year month and all photos have been drastically resized and it got smaller compared to the previous one the day option have been removed also there is this new option which lets you select few options like zoom in zoom out aspect ratio grade and there's also option to show screenshots by default it's enabled if you disable this option the screenshots which i had taken will not be shown in the gallery application there are these new tabs for the recent days you have options like people and pet the device will automatically organize all the photos according to the albums you can see there are so many options like trip so if you are traveling out if you are going out for the trip you'll have an organized folder for all the photos of different locations or the trip and you also have the option to customize the photos application so there are many options which i'll start exploring now and a detailed review will be dropped of ios 18 very soon i just need you guys to support me and you'll see a lot of ios videos also and the next application which got a major change that's the calculator application so first of all this is how the new calculator application look compared to the previous one and towards the bottom side if you see there's new toggle tapping on it it gives you a few options like scientific math notes and an option for converting units. So talking about converting units, there is a lot of things which you can do like convert currency, data, energy, force, etc. So too many options are there and these things can come in quite handy. And after that, one of the major add-on is this math note. So if you have enabled this math note option and here you can do a lot of things like you can split the bills, you can ask for any calculation and it also has the option where you can write and get the equation solved. So let's take example 20 plus 20 and I'll add the equal sign. 
you can see we got the answer. You can also scan the data to solve the match node. So for example, here you can see I scanned a photo which had some equations and now if I just tap on insert, if I put equal here, it gives me the answer. And the same thing I'll do it here. I'll just remove these question marks and add equal. This was just an example guys to showcase you how does it work with different options. And you can see just by adding the equal sign, we have all the answers of this equation. So the implementation, what they have done is quite impressive. And the last change is layer two notes application, which lets you transcribe your audio recording. So here you can see an example, we have an audio file here. If you see here, it's also been transcripted. So now you can do live transcription using the notes application. So guys, these are all the new changes. What iOS 18 brings on the table for iPhone users, which is your favorite feature. Do let us know in the comment section below. And also if you guys want a detailed review, let us know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.